Hi, this is the boy who cares. Here's my mini review of senior year. And before going into this review, I going to say what the plot is quickly and yet yeah, it's spoiler free. So yeah. So the plot is it's about the teenager is in a senior year in nineteen ninety nine. Then he done um, a tea and stunt and he went wrong. She would produce in a coma for twenty years. And she wake up now she is thirty seven and facing the world of modern day world. And basically the the other thing too that he wants to go back and we and try to get the Palm Queen crown. So that's basically the plot. So what I like about this is the idea itself sound fun really because yeah I know it's it still sounds stupid, but at the same time, imagine you, you're in a coma in the 90s and you waking up today's time, which is a good question, what would you react? Like, for example, there's just in this way, you can't say certain words, what you did in the 90s, you know, the R word, or, you know, you can't say gay and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Because obviously the world, you know, move forward. Which is a good thing, but at the same time, if you're born in the 90s and you've got no nose of that, it's going to be a big difference. And stuff like social media and, you know, modern day technology, it is going to be a big mind fucking head. It's like, what the fuck's going on? And how you cope, which is a good idea as a film, in a way. And another thing I like, there's. Even though there are very few, which I will go into, it is also a downfall. There's stuff in this that is dark, and you do feel bad for this girl who go, yeah, she's a pain in the ass most of the film, which I'll go through that in a minute. On you know what my bad thoughts on this film, you do feel sorry for it. Then you go hear backstory about why she want to be so popular, or the other bit where to you know. She had a mom who had cancer and she died in front of her then as a kid. Again, again, a lot of people say that's going to be a spoiler, but it's not. It's very in the, in the beginning of the movie, actually. So. And, like I said, a lot of impactful scenes and it is sad in a way and is well done, those scenes. But the problem is, we're going into now. What I don't like about this, which is, it tried too hard to be a comedy. Yeah, I know it's a comedy, but I think this type of story it's telling, it will work better as a drama in a way. I know it's, you might sound like really, why is it said on my positive about this? You know, if you're from, the, you know, in the 90s and you're into coma for 20 odd years, and you ever change like you can't say shit why I said you can't say certain word the, the technology's different social media's there you got this whole woke crap or anti-woke crap you know what I mean left versus right it's a good argument at where what the fuck's going on and and not just that people around you growing up too where again that must be hard and I think something like this is a good idea and the, pro- and the biggest problem with this film suffers it's still not a bit of comedy it tried to and the jokes most of the jokes don't land yet did a handful of jokes is funny but that's it it's not special and to me this would have been a lot more better as a drama in a way and also lastly it's the main character you find it annoying i know i get it she meant to be 17 in a 37 year old body I get that but seriously from the beginning of the movie it's only until near the end and maybe a handful of scenes you actually like it like I said the dark you know scenes that you do feel bad for her like I said go on her past yeah you do feel for her but the problem is most of the time she is quite an annoying character too and again that's the last I want to mention. So let's get to my final thoughts. So my final thoughts. 
it's a interesting idea, but it end up being uh, you know what I mean, and also as a comedy, it's a mixed bag really. There's much better comedy, or even as a teen comedy, it's still a failure as a mixed bag. As to me, there's a lot more better ones out there at the moment. So, if I go rank this, I give it 5 out of 10. It's not bad, bad, but it's not amazing either. So, leave your comments below what you thought of this film. Do you like this film? Or, again, I don't mind you do, because at the end of the day, everyone got different tastes. And I like to hear them. And if you like this review, leave a like, and if you want to see more in the future of, you know, reviews, you know, please subscribe, only if you want to. So, this has been a bit, who cares? See you on the next one.